Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today I want to talk about a, uh, another uh, German watch company and this was one that would fit in sort of the middle tier that uh, one of the subscribers suggested I take a look at it and I'm glad I have. Uh, Hensel is a a very interesting company. They've been around for a while and they they manufacture their own movements and their parts and so on and so forth but they have a lot of other interesting aspects about them. Now they have a they have a special one called I think 1877 something like that. It's, it's sort of has a movement called the works one but one of the things about them, I, there was some information that wasn't there, and so I, I wanted to stick with one where there was enough information I could follow it up on another source. So, anyway, uh, this is their what's called their H2 chronometer, and it's, one of the things I really like about this uh, company is that you can choose. You have two two sizes. You can get it in 37 millimeters or 39.5 millimeters. I tend to like the 39.5, but I know a lot of people who would like to have it in 37. This particular one is in uh, stainless steel. They, they do something else I really like is that they provide the what it would actually cost you, including just about everything, including shipment, uh, including VAT and so forth, and then they have it for non-EU as well as EU countries. Uh, for example, in stainless steel, uh, the non-EU it would be seventy-four, uh, uh, seven thousand four hundred eighty dollars for the EU. Uh, it would uh, not dollars, but uh, euros, and for EU would be eight thousand two hundred eighty. But that includes the VAT. Now, the movement, and I think it's this movement is some version of this is on all of them. It's called the HUW 1130. And they have two models of the HUW 1130. One is called P for premium, and the other one is called S for standard. Now, this particular one is their, their P movement, their premium movement. And the the movement is based on the AS1130, the um, uh, A Shield 1130, which is a Swiss movement, hand wound. All of all of their watches are hand wound, and of course I like hand wound. And also at uh, 18,000 BPH, two and a half hertz. And so there are many advantages to that. You're not going to beat up your watch as much as with a faster movement and so on and so forth. And uh, when you when you jar your uh, your watch, the uh, the balance wheel gets out of whack. And going back to 18 VPH is a lot quicker than going back to 28,800. Things like that. Um, and they they have a, a exhibition window in the back. You can see it. Now this particular uh, the HUW 1130 has the gold chatons around there. Four of them. And you can see them there. Each each of the four uh, has a little ruby on top, and then it has a swan neck regulator, and, uh, and then below that you can see the perlage. And on the um, uh, the barrel and the winding uh, the winding hole, you can see some snailing that they have, and then the Geneva waves in between. I th they have another name. The Germans call it something else. I forgot what it was. The Hamburg waves. Okay, so that's the first model is called the um, H1 chronometer. Now, the second um, one that they have is called the H2 chronometer. It's very similar, uh, but it's different. There's stainless steel that only comes in one size, 38.5. Again, it has the caliber HUW 1130. And the price, though, is, is a lot different. The non-AU price, EU price for steel is 4,500 uh, euros, uh, 4,580 euros. And for the EU, it's uh, 4,780 euros, and that includes uh, VAT. So here, both of them are, are now under 5,000 euros. And so they fit in very well 
with sort of your mid-tier watches and uh, the design they have. Oh boy, they're leaf hands. I think fuel, fuel. I, there's a French term for them, and my French is no better than my German, and I apologize for that because I like French <laughs> spoken well so much. Um, here is the third model. This is called the H2 Sport Chronometer. Now this uses the uh, HUW 1130S. And the 1130S, you can see around those uh, four rubies, uh, there's, there's no gold chateau, and there's some other things. It's a little rougher. But the interesting thing, it's not the cheapest one. Uh, this is the sports model. They're all 39.9 millimeters. And um, they're a little more. Both of them are over 5,000. I mean, both for non-European and European. They're both over 5,000 euros. And um, so, okay. Uh, the, the thing about this, there are a lot of interesting things. Uh, first of all, the whole, the, the two chronometers, well, all of them are called chronometers. And usually there's some kind of something that would indicate chronometer level. Uh, one, there's Hamburg has this famous uh, chronometer observatory for selling it. There's no mention, there's a the mention of the observatory, but they don't use, say, hey, this is how we had it certified as a chronometer. And I think that would help them if they did or didn't. Uh, the other thing that sort of threw me a little about, there was, you know, on a, on a decent watch, they'll have something like five or six uh, adjustments uh, for it. Uh, there was none of that on any of these that I could find, including their uh, their top model. And, and that's something I think would help if they're gonna, especially if they're gonna call it a chronometer. Um, but otherwise, I think they look like a pretty good buy. I like this the uh, sports one a lot. And the, uh, uh, the H, the H1 is both of those are really nice. The fact that you can get the H1 in different sizes, I think, is a really neat thing. Anyway, uh, this, this is one other one you can add to your mid tier German watches. It's very interesting. It's from Hamburg rather than Glashuda or from Dresden or one of the from, for the, from the usual uh, places where they have to make them. Like to hear your opinion and any comments that you have. And if you own one of these, I'd really like to hear from you. And this is an opportunity to subscribe if you'd like. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Thank you.